We don't believe that issues surrounding diversity is just rhetoric. So often that's what it is. It's a beautiful plan, but when you say point to where that plan is in action, sometimes that's a little bit harder to do. And so we have tried, um, I think as a community, to do, to reach out to folks in ways that everyone can feel included. As a student athlete, I think you face a lot of different kinds of stereotypes and a lot of different kinds of diversity. Um, everyone you'll ever meet that's a student athlete is different in so many different ways. Um, and I think diversity and inclusion is at its prime in college because you meet so many different kinds of people and they, they tell you when you leave for college, it's a, it's a whole new world. Um, and it really is. We celebrate Women's History Month every year on campus. It's March, nationally recognized in March and we pick a different theme every year. We wanted to do something around gender and gender equity in sports, and we picked the theme of tackling injustice because it was a chance to work with, on something with We Are One Team that was specifically relevant to both, and it really fit with what the Women's Center wants to do and what We Are One Team was, is really focused on. It was a fabulous month. The initiative came about just as a university president would be most proud of. It came from the students and it came from a gra graduate student by the name of Yannick who came all the way from Germany and evidently felt the special feeling at BGSU and he started the initiative. I remember very clearly my first football game. I didn't know anybody, I didn't know any of the rules, but I just felt like I was home in the football game. Um, and I wanted to use that emotional power to bring people together and to fight for social justice. So I think that's where I really started thinking about We Are One Team and where the idea uh, came about. Sports does so much to strengthen young people. A sense of community, a sense of belonging, um, a sense of family almost. And so when you think about the work that We Are One Team is doing, it really does hit at our core values as an institution. So the message that We Are One Team sends is really a simple one. We want to send a message that says that no matter what your gender identification is, your race, your ethnicity, your sexual orientation, um, you are welcome at Bowling Green. And as Falcons, we are all one team. Yeah, Yannick and his team reached out to athletics and we've partnered uh, with many of their events. Our student athletes are obviously a diverse population, so it was a natural fit for our student athletes to uh, jump in and, and promote uh, his, his initiative. I think we are one team's power at BGSU is the student involvement. I think what college sports does is it provides a platform to discuss social justice issues. It provides visibility on campus. And so you gotta use that for good. You, get, you have this privilege, you have this certain cachet in social power, and if you're willing to, you can really be an ambassador for some good and positive things. So we have projects like the We Are One Team Sporting Days, where we have um, BGSU athletics teams invite international students to their facility to try out their sport, to socialize with the athletes. We've had a speaker talking about transgender identity in college athletics. Uh, just recently, we had two speakers from the Muhammad Ali Center give a talk about the legacy of Muhammad Ali um, and how we can honor that legacy at BGSU. As I think about the young people who are on our college campuses now, they are a future for tomorrow, and the experiences that they have now, we'll, we'll see that um, bubble up in their profession. We'll see that bubble up as they raise their own children. We'll see that bubble up as they become um, valued citizens within the, the communities. I think it's more than just an organization. I think it's a wonderful opportunity to share our values, not just on this campus, but across the nation and into the future.